Hey guys, it's back again for another 30 days of WrestleMania. I'm Sorgatron on the Twitter's Mike Sorg with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com. And today we are talking about, of course, WrestleMania 6. It's the, the Battle of the Immortals. It was the, 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 the first uh, international WrestleMania and such a great show. I for, I, I, it, was, it had left my mind how much I really, really loved this show. Uh, and watching it here, uh, you know, over this time has just been so tremendous. Um, this, this was again, another big spectacle, you know, after leaving Trump Plaza, a giant, giant arena in the, in the sky dome. Uh, when I hear Hulk Hogan saying the sky dome in his interviews, it harkens me to WrestleMania 30 where he screwed up. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, you know, s- such great, like, like earthquake, uh, Hercules, I, I'm realizing it was at like, like every WrestleMania since two, uh, you know, again, Jesse Ventura and Gorilla Monsoon on this one. Um, my, I, I've, I've named this so many times on my, uh, on my remember whens of, 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 of I don't even know what questions this always comes up with, but the Bolsheviks in the shower with C.D. Allen is one of the most memorable backstage kind of vignettes I've ever, you know, I, I, I remember, you know, um, and the best promos, just going into this, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, uh, uh, some of the quotes, like Hulk Hogan saying, do you want to become a mortal? Uh, Warriors, one, shooing Sean Mooney out of the way, saying, uh, uh, you do not deserve to breathe the same air as me and Hulk Hogan. Uh, the most insane stuff and leading into this, I think this is where the infamous uh, airplane <laughs> crashing promo uh, happened, was around this era. And, uh, and uh, the best of the best when it comes to the stars on the show this is the most colorful era this is the most interesting era we had you know you know this is the andre the giant you know turning turning face again you know uh, with with his partner haku you know losing the belts to demolition so many tag teams were involved in this that was incredible there were three tag team matches let's think about that in a day where we could barely get a tag team title match when we had two belts on wrestlemania over the last uh, five, ten years, we had free matches, plus another segment where Wortham and Blues came out and got interrupted by the Bushwhackers. The tag team division was hot, and there were so many. Could you imagine if we said, all right, what th- four tag team interactions are we going to have on WrestleMania 31? Can you come up with that eight teams to be involved that isn't absolutely ridiculous? ridiculous uh, of course the infamous roddy 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 piper and the half black <laughs> i i understand i think the story goes it took him a few days to get all of that off um uh, heart foundation uh, macho king this is the the macho king and cherry against sweet sapphire and dusty Rhodes. this is the best this is my childhood right here again it's so colorful the characters the best of the best uh hacksaw jim duggan is on this the rockers against the orient express uh, it, it, uh jake roberts against the million dollar man uh for the million dollar title right i mean when that was like a defended title and yet it changed hands because he lost by count out because they explained um that it's not a sanctioned title and that makes it okay for it to change hands otherwise under, under any circumstance but i always thought it was really really goofy um also uh, a good point during this match there was a wave and they really got into showing the wave there was a separate wave on the lower and the upper bowls uh during the jake roberts and ted dibiase match and i don't think this was a detraction to uh, you know, the match, the match was tremendous. Of course, a little slower. It's a long night. The show clock's in about three and a half hours. Um, but still really, really tremendous. I, I mentioned rhythm and blues, which I think the, uh, very famously, the, uh, the driver is diamond Dallas page. If I recall, um, uh, another little piece of history there, uh, but seeing, seeing, uh, uh you know, Greg Valentine, <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> attempting to play guitar is pretty hilarious and of course the big one hogan and the warrior lots of bear hugs lots of text tests of strengths um and it was really really tremendous uh <laughs> um weird quotes and again this is kind of the era where you know i've talked about kind of the uh implied domestic abuse 
and uh, and, and racism uh, uh, comments over over this era. But previously, we're getting to the '90s. It's getting a little closer to PC. But uh, uh, Steve Allen inter- interviewing Rhythm and Blues, which is a fantastic, fantastic statement. I haven't been this excited since I found out Pee Wee Herman was straight. In in reference to being excited for Rhythm and Blues debuting their single that apparently already has a gold record, um, which kind of goes to oh wait, that's right. That, there was some stuff going on at the time. Uh, I think 1990. I think we are officially here. You can tell by how neon everything is. Um, so, and also the very disappointing, all the advertisements for uh, the the Los Angeles Coliseum the next year uh, that was going to purportedly uh, house 100,000 people. Um, of course, according to the Wikipedia page, uh, WrestleMania 7, a uh, you know, smaller arena adjacent, and uh, they claimed due to security concerns, but also probably low ticket sales as well. It was hidden in that wall for WrestleMania, and we're going to see that, and I think that kind of hit the rock bottom when we had 9,000 people at WrestleMania 9. But we'll talk about that here throughout the week throughout the weeks until wrestlemania join us wrestlemania wrestlemania wrestlemania.com is not our site but also a great place where you can see stuff like the pictures i'm bringing up for this the videos um but you can go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com please subscribe to youtube itunes wherever you want to find the show in audio and video forms Uh, this is a youtube exclusive for 30 days of wrestlemania uh with me and also check out our friends uh just did uh the raw wrap-ups total divas wrap-ups uh if you want to check out thoughts on what's going on there. Until next time, this is Sorgatron. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.